here, there's something like 1, 5, 6, 6, 9, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, yeah, so we're out, this is 78.4, so we're, or 78 number 4, so we're asked to solve this, so zero product property says 2 times x equals 0, but we want to factor that, so is it, are you guys getting that we can't, is it not factorable, multiply to make 6, add to make negative 4, there's nothing you can do, right, 6 times 1 or 3 times 2, so what do you do when you can't do anything else? We have to give up on our dreams of factoring it. So what do you bust out whenever you can't factor something? Um, okay, that was a fail. I'm going to write fail. <laughs> that was a fail. It didn't work. So we're going to go negative B plus or minus. Uh-huh. So that's, some people, the first thing they do is grab that that quadratic formula. Me, I wait until I, I find out if I can't factor it. And if I can't factor it, then I use quadratic formula. So A is going to be 1, and B is going to be negative 4, and C is going to be 6, and negative B plus or minus. You guys won't let me mess it up, will you? B squared. I didn't write the 1 because it wouldn't do anything. And then 6 times 4 is 24, and 16 minus 24, ew, so ugly. 16 minus 24 is negative 8, so. Uh, now negative 8, you know that this is going to be, um, 8 can be written as 2 root 2 but it's going to have an i all over 2 and then we going to reduce it and 2, 1, 1 and then you get 2 plus or minus root 2 i. Now that is not a real solution um, but this is a real solution. This one way up here that's a real, that'll give me a real solution because this is already factored like um, use the zero product property. So you're going to get a real solution of x equals zero. So here's your solution. x equals zero. x equals two plus root two i and x equals two minus root two i. The top one's real. The two bottom ones are um, complex or they have imaginary parts. Yes. Questions?